Welcome back to Dad. You'll still be checking out the Potentic Atom 2 drone along with their just released PTD controller. That's going to give you a dedicated screen so you don't have to use your phone, which I think is a game changer. I don't think I'll ever go back to using a drone that doesn't have a dedicated controller. I'll explain why and also give you an in-depth look at this drone, let you know my thoughts about it and show you how this thing performs. So stay tuned to the video. As always, I will have a link to this drone in the description below. Also, give the video a like if you find it helpful and subscribe to my channel. And let's check this thing out. So this Atom 2 drone is in the entry level category. It is 249 grams. Of course, it's strategic to be under 250 grams as that's when you start getting into the registration and a lot of the rules and regulations. So being under that 250 grams and being exactly 249 grams makes it so that you do not have to register it in most places, but you will definitely want to check with your local rules and regulations there. But really the crazy thing about this Atom 2 is while it is in that entry level category, they packed a ton of premium features that you would normally find in drones that cost way more than this one does. And that pricing is with the old controller, that's the one that uses your phone, you're looking at $360 for the standard kit and $480 for the Fly More combo, which is gonna give you extra batteries, a separate battery charger, and a case. And then this new package option with the PTD-1 controller is gonna be $480 for the standard kit and $600 for the Fly More combo. And you also can optionally just buy this new remote controller for $280. So that Fly More combo is what I have here, and I would highly suggest spending the extra money for that. You're definitely gonna want extra batteries. Having that separate battery controller that can charge separately from the drone is so nice to have, almost a must have in my opinion. And I love the case that this one comes with. It's very portable. Everything fits super nicely in it. Everything has a place. And I think you're going to regret not getting that combo if you just get the drone. I also love that they include a lot of extra propellers. So if any of those get damaged, it's an easy replacement. And I even like this strap that goes around the drone. It just keeps everything compact so nothing will break off in the case. So that's a nice touch as well. All right, so let's get into some of these specs on this drone. You have an 8K photo and 4K HDR video camera on this one. So you really can't get much better than that. It has an up to 32 minutes of flight time on each battery with a level five wind resistance. And we're gonna test that out later in this video. But here's where really some of those premium features stick out. It has AI visual tracking. So you can actually highlight a person, a car, someone on a bike, anything like that. And this drone will actually follow that person. And there's actually three ways it does that. There's an AI spotlight mode, a follow mode, and a parallel mode that will kind of follow you on the side. So you don't have to control it manually or anything, which is awesome. It's such a premium feature that you normally find in the more expensive drones out there. This also has a massive 10 kilometer distance limitation. So you shouldn't really be flying, especially if you're a beginner, much further than that. You have a four times digital zoom that you'll be able to activate on the controller itself. And it can even shoot in vertical mode. So if you want any Instagram or TikTok videos, you're set up for that. But enough spec talk. Let's see how this thing actually flies. I took this thing out on a vacation. I'm in the Shenandoah Valley of Virginia, specifically in the Massanutten Resort area. And this thing was perfect for catching those fall colors this time of year. But I was super impressed with the video quality this thing got, how stable it was. This was actually a pretty windy day and it didn't really seem to affect this drone at all, which shocked me at how lightweight it is. I thought the wind would be blowing this thing all over the place or it wouldn't be able to fly, but that was not the case.
Now let me talk about this new controller. So I've had drones in the past like this one where you use your phone and it kind of hooks into the center of the controller. So you get the joysticks, but your phone is your display and the main brains of the operation. And there are a lot of disadvantages to that. First off, you're losing access to your phone while you're flying the drone. So if you're getting alerts or notifications or need to check on something, you really can't do that, which is very inconvenient. It also takes time to hook up your phone. A lot of times you might have to take it out of the case. You have to find the right connection cable, whether it's lightning or USB-C, and it just takes some time and is annoying a lot of the times to hook up your phone to the controller. So having this dedicated controller with a beautiful display on it really changes everything and gets you flying very quickly, which is always important with these portable drones. You don't want to spend a ton of time setting it up, especially if you're in a place or on a hike or anything like that. You can get up and flying almost instantly. So really after using this drone, I will never consider a drone that does not have a dedicated screen controller that does not use my phone. I really also didn't experience any latency. There's a lot of different buttons on here, some that you can customize, which is awesome. That zoom display feature is right on the top, easy to activate. And flying this thing is a dream and a breeze. But you can see here, the video speaks for itself. This thing just shoots stunning video. I'm flying over some of the ski slopes. You can even see a deer right here but the details are amazing on this camera and the stabilization is top notch. Now I did wanna test out some of the tracking ability on this. It's super easy to use. You'll just touch screen and sort of draw a square over whatever you wanna track like I did to myself here. And then it just follows you anywhere you go and keeps you perfectly centered in the frame. There's also a lot of quick shots that you can do. That's where you'll put a square over whatever you're focusing on and it will do maybe a circle around that, different takeoffs and really makes you look like you're a professional drone pilot. Now this drone also has an AI night mode, and I wanted to give that a shot. I flew this over my area at night, and while it is a little blurry in the background, some of the far distance things that would be expected to be blurry, but there's a lot of great detail in some of the close-up shots at night. I'm really shocked at some of the fine details that you can pick out and how well this did at night. But if you're in the market for one of those entry-level, maybe even mid-level drones, Definitely give this one a look. I would highly recommend getting the Fly More Combo and getting the one with this dedicated screen controller. I think it's going to make all the difference in your enjoyment level of this drone. But give this one a shot. I think it's a great value. Probably one of the best values out there when it comes to these. Thank you to Potensic for sending me this drone to test out and share with you guys. And I will catch you guys next time on Dad Deals.